Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to our channel, our place, the place where we talk, have coffee, drink, tea, matcha, Mountain Dew, root beer floats. I don't know. Guys, where are you in the world? What time of day is it in the world where you're at? What are you eating, drinking, or smoking? Tell me. I want to know. You know, you guys, you'd think that I'd have some sort of cooking channel. And if I wasn't having to work, I would probably tell you these stories over cooking a meal and showing you what it was I was cooking. I was thinking of doing that, but I can't do it right now. But maybe in the future, the series I've been doing with National Geographic and uh, checking out other species in the world has brought me to another species in the world, which is totally outrageous. And as quiet as I am on watching this thing called Gypsy Rose from a distance and reporting on her with that raw footage and such, I have to tell you that we have snapshots of this other fucking animal uh, that goes by several names. Sean Puffy, Sean Diddy, Diddy Puffy, Diddy Diddy, Puffy Daddy, Daddy Puffy. How about Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, P. Diddy? How about freak-offs? Does anybody know what a freak-off is? So apparently they have this in other communities of the world. We will call them fucked up communities in the world, freak-offs, where people that actually, you know, didn't think much of themselves, apparently, I think, growing up, where they had like... I don't know, maybe a shitty life. And then God gave them another chance at something else or God gave them a talent that they then were able to share with the world. And because of that, were able to gain a lot of money and notoriety and then turn around, use and abuse people. What do we call that type of species on earth? Because to me, it's P. Diddy, Sean Puffy, Puffy Daddy, P. Diddly Watt, Piddle Diddle, whatever. So, very much like Scientology, um, which I covered a long time ago on my um, channel, about 10 months ago now. Um, Scientology is something that they call um, a religion. This is what Diddy called his way of life, his little freak-offs. And what Scientology did was they would record people with their deepest, darkest secrets. And then they would use those tapes to extort whatever they wanted. Well, Diddy did one better. Yes, he did. Because what he did was he audio taped people in the act of total misbehaving. Misbehaving. Well, let's get down tonight. Well, let's get down Downright tonight. Downright lewd and Take lascivious your acts off now and let's get down tonight. with male prostitutes. So they say, so they say, and they have proof of, only to take the tapes later and use them to extort and blackmail. Now, these freak-offs went for days at a time. How freaky is freaky P. Diddy, Diddy Daddy? Puff Diddy? Diddy what? Let, let me read something to you. This is, oh, by the way, we have to celebrate because this numbskull who tried to get out on bail again today, denied, denied, MF, denied. You could sit there and have your own little well, freak off. Down tonight. Well, and it could last for days and days and off. days. Down, See, when I saw tonight. that video, and I've said it before, when I saw the video of the way he treated Cassie, doesn't matter, could have been anybody. It let me know uh, this vile creature whatever specimen he is is demonic demonic because as we know he denied 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 until the tape showed up and then he was sorry very sorry sorrier than sorry oh i i feel i've learned my lesson i've changed my ways you denied everything like, your memory doesn't suit you very well because our memory remembers what you said. So, this creature, specimen, whatever the fuck he is, cockroach, cockroach, was denied. Denied, 
bail. And they offered it at over $50 million. And the judge said, no, 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 you ain't going nowhere. You stay in your ass in the jail and put that orange jumpsuit on, bitch. Guys, orange was for trustees. I don't know what they're wearing in the facility he's at, but I'll tell you what, he ain't wearing his Dior. Here's the thing about Diddy Daddy or Daddy Diddy or Puff's fucking... Well, I don't know. I don't even know what to call this guy. What I do know is he is sitting exactly where he needs to be. So here we go. After Sean Diddy Combs, Puff Daddy, Puff Diddy, Super Puff, was arrested by federal agents in New York City. His charges were revealed once the indictment was unsealed. The rapper is facing legal issues in connection to the ex-trafficking investigation that Homeland Security placed him under earlier this year. Ah, ah, ah! During Diddy's re... During Diddy's recent... Say that three times fast. During Diddy... During Diddy's recent... Ah! During Diddy's recent court appearance in New York, the prosecution cited multiple accusations against him, including the coerced freak-offs that he allegedly forced victims into. What are freak-offs? Per NBC News, prosecutors named freak-offs as one of the course of acts that Diddy orchestrated. The term refers to sexual acts that Combs allegedly, that's Diddy, Combs, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Combs, allegedly recorded for his viewing pleasure. His viewing pleasure. What a fucking sick motherfucker. I hope it's forever in your brain because that's all you get from now on. According to court docs viewed by the outlet, Diddy was accused of using sensitive, embarrassing, and incriminating recordings that he made during freak-offs as collateral to ensure the continued obedience and silence of the victims. <laughs> Guess what, Diddy Daddy, Puffy Man? They're out for everybody to see now. Everybody's going to scrutinize that shit. Prosecutors also allege that one specific freak-off ended up costing Combs more than $46,000 to cover damages to a penthouse in 2012. So that'd be about $60,000, $65,000 in damages today for a penthouse. <sighs> the defendant arranged freak-offs with the assistance of members and associates of the enterprise, including employees of his business in the hotel rooms where they, where they were staged often, sustained significant damages. Prosecution said, according to the outlet, the federal raids on Combs' home. That's Puff Diddy, Diddy Daddy, Puff Daddy Diddy. He, I think he even called himself love once. That's sick. That there's no there's no real love in this guy. The federal raids on Combs's homes is <laughs> in Miami and Los Angeles also uncovered various freak off supplies. Ho <laughs> ho more than one thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant. What was Diddy charged with? I don't know, hoarding at this point. You know, I'm joking because you know that I want the book thrown at this guy. I don't want him to see freedom ever again. Just on the video alone of the way he behaved with Cassie. So I can only imagine what we haven't seen. So yeah, let him fucking stay. And we can watch him from afar. This specimen. So what was Diddy charged with? Well, Diddy Daddy Puffy was charged with three felony counts of racketeering, ex-trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Is Sean Diddy Combs in jail? Oh yeah, Diddy Daddy Puffy. Puff Daddy. After he was arrested by federal, federal agents, Diddy was reportedly placed in the custody of Homeland Security Investigations. <laughs> per NBC, Combs offered to post a $50 million bond in order to be released from custody. Additionally, he offered to wear a GPS monitor. How nice of him. However, the prosecution is reportedly asking the judge to deny it, and uh, they're winning.
so that uh, once upon a time uh, music mogul is uh, sitting his ass comfy is sitting his ass in jail awaiting his future because of his fucked up past guys this is issues with toddy one skip tell me what you think are we covering diddy should i cover diddy puff diddy daddy sean puffy combs should we cover him all right guys tell me what you think please in the comments i'm in the comments i so appreciate you being there making time for me thank you so much guys please like subscribe and share and those of you that are on the fence come on over to our side we don't bite unless you ask us to and we'll stop it.